I'm here with mediapreneur Gwen Elliott. First of all, welcome to Vancouver. Thank you! How do you like the city? This is the most magical city. I need to find a way to live here. So if you have any jobs, please. <laughs> I'm trying to find a job, so, but um, anyways, um, let's talk about mediapreneur, because that's a term that's kind of new for a lot of people. What is a mediapreneur? I heard this term by this incredible mediapreneur named David Seitman Garland. Shout out to David. (laughs) We've never met, but still a shout out to you. Um, So basically, to me, it means you're merging a career with media and entrepreneurship, because I don't know if, like, if you notice the traditional media, like TV, is, is kind of like not as popular as it was say like eight to ten years ago there's got to be a new way to make a career if you want to live and work in the media so this idea of like creating your own content um, you know making money through media in a different kind of way is something that I'm super into and still try to work it out but I like the term mediapreneur so I'm in. And um, what's the focus, uh, your mission anyways, here um, at uh, Socialite Conference today? My mission today is to really inspire people to start. Um, That's always been my greatest challenge is, like, you have all these ideas of things you want to do, but there's different excuses holding you back. And um, I'm here to really hopefully inspire people to start and just go after it. You're going to make some dumb mistakes, but that's okay. It happens all the time. Um, And also just, I really believe in the Socialite Conference. I've been volunteering with Socialite for years and, uh, you know, had the chance to host the event today. And it's just so exciting and so amazing to be surrounded by these inspiring folks. So many inspiring people that have given such great advice. You're 25. This is true. Quite young still. But if Thank any, you. <laughs> it looks fabulous. If there's any advice that you could give your former self, say 20-year-old Gwen, what would it be? Oh man, 20-year-old Gwen, I would sit her down and say relax. Just breathe. It's all going to be okay. I remember like just having this real intensity of stress and wanting to figure it all out and and do it really fast. And most of the things I stressed out about when I was 20, I don't even remember. And I probably feel like right now at 25, when I'm 30, I'll look back and I won't even remember what's stressing me out now. So just relax and just trust the process and trust your instincts. If you want to go up and talk to somebody, do it. If you want to start a blog or send out an email, do it. So relax is my advice. Great great advice. Um, Advice that all of us can use. Looking forward, looking to the future. What's yep. next for Gwen? Oh, snap! Well, probably a hamburger um, first. Or a Japa dog. <laughs> oh my god. Can we talk about Japa dog for a second? Um, it is insanely delicious. Uh, literally, like the bread did taste like cake, and I was serious about the miso mayonnaise being off the hook. And, and just to give some context, yes. Japa dog's one of the uh, speakers is here today. Uh, Noriki, Noriki? Noriki, oh, yes. so funny, awesome guy. Yeah. He's the best. He's never actually spoken on a stage before, yeah. and you would never know that. He like went out there and had a dance party, so if anyone's watching this and they have not had Jaffa Dog, please get it together and go there. <laughs> Thanks so much, Gwen. It was a, a pleasure talking to you. Same, Blanca. Great.